everyone, my name is Gleason, and welcome back to Mechanical Minecraft. I'm still having those frame rate issues. I pinned it to down there somewhere, but I still have no idea. So if I look up, we return to smoother play. So, I don't know. Um, but I have found a solution for our leaves here. and I've done a little bit of aesthetic work. Wow. It hasn't loaded yet. Um, but here we go. Check this out. Oh, yeah. This is pretty much exactly what I wanted to begin with, but there wasn't anything like it really. Uh, this is boarded glass. It's something that I researched in Thorncraft. So if I go in here, and water stones and doors, and there you go, water glass. It's just come in a new update, and I love it. And as you can see, I did some updating to my Thorncraft area. This is the way I decided to get around the stupid table thing. You can't really see the one, but that's not too much of a problem, and you can only see one corner, which makes it silly, but oh well. Um, yes, so that's that. I've been trying and trying and trying <coughs> for ages to get a tallow golem, but I just can't get him. I've gotten all these different types of golems. I've got, I mean, I haven't gotten all these different types of golems, but I've gotten all these stuff. I've got Brain and Jar now, I've got Crystal Clusters, I've got my basic aura manipulation, I've got Advanced Golemy, I've got... Um, these guys, I've got Sword of the Surface, Axe of the Stream, I've got a couple more ones, I've got Shovel of the Earth Mover. And it's just been crazy. Every time I try, it's just not getting it. I'm doing things that would have golems as well, so not just anything. For example, I got to this this golem when I was trying to get the other one. But it's just been so annoying. <laughs> um but things like this I cannot do till later game because it's another star. But things like this, he will re slowly replenish nearby aura nodes and even boost their beast levels above normal baseline levels to a limited degree. Of course, that will probably lead to a buildup of flux, but the benefits may outweigh the negative side effects. So, um, I actually made one of these, and here's one right here. They look very pretty, kind of see-through, very nice. Um, but my aura node's way down there, so I'm, I don't know how much it's affecting it. I wonder, I wonder why that isn't loading, but you can see the lightning effects. And I have checked it wasn't the aura node that was doing it. And you can't break these with a the pickaxe, you need a wand to break them. Um, but yeah, this is my Thorncraft room. Um, and over here, I've done a little bit of encasing on this room, um, to w more what the final room will look like. The steam boiler will be one higher in the end. Um, that's working fine. Um, I've got a little access hole out here. I'll probably put a water door in there just because they look kind of cool. Um, you know, back backstage here a little bit, but the quarry thing is working. I do need to make myself some more engines and stuff to be able to get the proper steam output because that yeah they're both empty. So this guy is filling up rather slowly. Um, but yeah, my turtle programs are working fine now. I did have to do a little bit of debugging. For example. But this guy was checking for full energy, I wrote the other guy to check for full energy too, the idiot. I'm an idiot, and so, um, he should have been checking for no energy rather than full energy, so I just made that change. <laughs> um, but we are getting in a lot of stuff here. Our quarry is running, as you can see. Which is weird. I don't understand what's actually going on. So the quarry's running... And this happened before as well, but there's an extra one in here. Somehow, my system duplicates redstone energy cells. I found two in the chest earlier when there shouldn't be shouldn't have been any, and so I put him here, which I'll destroy later once I discover if it's a bug or not, which I'm 90% sure it is. But yeah, it's very very strange. I'm not sure why that was happening, but it's very cool coming down here and watching my system do its thing. Um. So there's stuff coming in here, there's some amber, some iron ore, let's watch the iron ore. Um, at the moment, um, these pulverizers and smelters are way overboard, you can see some stuff going back into the system here. Um, here's some black zycorodite coming around as well. Yeah, the metals will get sorted to their place of course, more iron ore going in, very nice, I love it. Um, here, here this black side corridor comes. So we'll go that way, and then into here. And into its pipe, and then out comes the block. How cool is that? Very nice. Um, 
So yeah, that's what I've been doing since I left you. Mostly been trying for that golem because it's been pretty crazy. Uh, my flux isn't too bad after all the smelting, smelting I did and crafting with all these jars and stuff like that. Um, and the ones... Oh no, I didn't make any ones. I did make... No, I didn't make. Let's make some Thorncraft stuff. Maybe that's what I'll do this episode. Um, a little bit of, anyway. This sword is very cool. Oh, I haven't got the pickaxe yet. Huh, I thought I did. Um, let's get this axe of the stream. So I need a Wonder Frost to begin with, which I actually already made one. And he is right here. This Wonder the Frost launches little frosty projectiles, which is very cool. How good is that? Oop. Oh, and they do actually break micro blocks, so that's something I have noticed. Um, yeah, which is kind of strange, whatever. Yeah, very cool wand. Oh, I hope he doesn't have to have full durability, because that would suck. Oh, and they slowly melt. Amazing. And if you throw them at water, even if it's a stream, it'll turn to ice. Um, so let's put that in there. And what was the other thing I needed? Um, Thumbnail so Con. Film your max. Nice. I may, in fact, already have one. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe I've already used it. Oh, I do. Haha. <laughs> awesome. So hopefully this will work and I don't have to make a new Wonder Frost. It's a wand too dodgy or something, or can I just not make it? Nope. I need to make a new wand. Um, but the wand, I'd, all I, it's not too hard to make the wand. The wand is just what is the apprentice, which I'll just use that one for the moment. They're not hard to make, of course. Three water shards. Bing, bing, bing. And I thought that was it. What? Under the frost. Oh, it needs to be in a proper table. Radio. So I need... Tellum and ice. Tellum comes from my arrows. Do they need two or four? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see what's in the cauldron now, which is really quite cool. Should see. What? What in the. Oh, must have missed. No, four. Four of them. Four. Oh, I haven't actually crafted since it went down there. Dang it. So is this not actually going to work? What happens if I break some of these? And if I break the pipe? Still nothing. What's going on? Clear line aside, do they need to be on the same level or something? Because that would be pretty dumb. Really dumb, actually. Huh. Well, I might do my Thorncraft stuff later. The other problem is, as I said last episode, haha, <laughs> got him. Um, this tree farm won't work anymore. Also, yes, this tree farm won't work anymore, but, plus, um, I hooked these up to pneumatic tubes instead of buildcraft pipes with just a couple of relays, and I actually need to break that pipe because I'm losing much peat at the moment. And I still have to hook the peat up to my steam steam engine too. Because at the moment I'm just filling it manually. And that is not optimal. <laughs> and I did actually accidentally have it run out for a little bit so it's still heating back up. Um, these arbitoriums have been superseded. That is right. So basically this whole system has been superseded. They still work for the moment but we don't know how many updates it's going to last. Um, in the foresters, of course, as well. But this whole system needs to be redone. And I would like to do that ASAP, of course. So let us... I'm going to tear this down soon, but I'm going to leave it running for the minute. I've got plenty of wood. Um, is there any peat lying around? Yeah, a little bit, but I cannot pick it up. Because my inventory is way too full. I put some here, but i still got to make it curve a little bit like I did with this one. I like the look of this. Um, let's put some micro blocks away, put some wool away, put 
some carrots and potatoes away. Let's check the glass in there. Um, pipe, that's right. And I'll put the rest, rest of these ingredients in my Thorncraft chest, because that's what they are in my inventory for. We know that's not their only use, but anyway. Alright, so that should be good. Um, so, we need to make some farms. Um, what type should we make? Our base is stone brick, so I'm thinking stone brick would make the most sense. Um, let's have a look at the recipe. I want to find the stone brick version. Smooth sandstone. You can make them in any, like, uh, you get lots of choices of, for aesthetics, which is very nice. Stone bricks, farm blocks. Come on. Uh, it's not giving me the recipe. Dang it, I'm going to have to look it up. And I don't know if any information will actually be on the wiki yet, unfortunately. No, it doesn't look like it will be. Huh. That's a shame. I'll be right back. Here we are, I've got our thermionic fabricator heating up here. I did manage to find the recipe, thanks to DieWolf20. But that's not apparently how you make electron tubes. Alright, um... Dang it, they don't have recipes either. Why can't you make electron tubes anymore? Do any of them have electron... any of them have recipes? Nope. Huh. Oh. Do you need ingots, maybe? In here instead of tin? Um, let us break that block and replace it. If I can actually get up there. Yes, I'm 90% sure I got it, yep. Let's place it back down. Oh, it's facing a different direction, it looks different now. Put tin in there, and redstone. That's not it either? Come on! Strange. Just playing around with the recipes now. I've got no chance in anything. Oh well, I'll be back again. Oh, wow. Uh, I was just about to do some investigations about my frame rate issues um, since the new update, and I went back to the title screen, and bam! I'm assuming... I haven't clicked away yet, because I don't want to risk it, but I'm assuming this is like a, a rare chance Feed the Beast um, Easter egg, so yeah, just thought I'd show you guys that's pretty random and cool. Anyway, I'll get back to it. Wow, did I really just do that? Yeah, I did. <sighs> yeah, first I tried glass, which you just saw, but I had glass in here instead of the redstone. When I tried the redstone, I had the tin in there instead of the glass. So, there we go. Got my tin electron tubes. Now, what was I actually using them for? Cheat mode. Oh, I remember now I was going to start doing the farms. But, I'm 90% I'm sure that my FPS problems do originate around my time here. Which is very bad because I'm actually utilising it quite a bit. So I'm actually going to stop it. Yep, the frame rate goes straight up. So let us do that. I have come worked out a workaround. And let's get some stone and glass panelling and some redstone. Yes, you can probably guess what I'm doing. Creating a computer, because they can work as a less visually taxing clock. So I'll put him right there. Nah, I don't want you there. I was going to say it'll work, but nah. I don't trust it. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get back here. Dang it, I could have sworn that was in the right spot. Let's put him against the roof. There we go. So if I go edit, start up, while true, do, end. Oops. Um, sleep. 
0 0.2 redstone dot set output back whoops that's not quotations back true sleep 0 0.2 redstone dot set output back False. I believe that should work. Let's tree boot him. Yeah, we've got items pulling out. This happened when I tested it too. It should start up any second. Start doing it properly unless I type did a typo. Yep. Of course. Redstone, not reststone. There we go, things are pulsing. Nice. I could almost do it, put the computer in the middle and pulse all three at once. That might be cool. Anyway, so let's have a look at the chest to make sure things are keeping up. Yeah, they're keeping up. Nice. Good. I'm glad I got that resolved. And I'm glad I'm getting a lot of appetite because um, appetite's the only way to make fertilizer at the moment, so we're going to need a bunch of that. But I did run into a problem where um, I was, I let, accidentally left my character AFK for a while, and yeah, I accidentally let my steam boiler run out, so. Coal produces double of charcoal. That is something that I did not know, and it produces more than peat. Huh, I guess peat's farmable, so that's acceptable. Um, yeah, wow. What do you know? Um, I don't think I showed you guys this. Um, what I've done, I've got gold pipes coming out of here. I made some facades. Facades are quite easy to make. Once you've got the tools, you just need an assembly table, which I, we did earlier in an earlier episode, and one piece of orange wool, and three cobblestone structure pipes made me these facades, which can play straight on Billcroft pipes, but they can't place on Liquidox. So that's why I had to use the Billcroft pipes there, which I'm glad Liquidox can connect to them, which is cool. Um... Let me see, I have got a retriever now, which I will put the retriever, I don't, I don't want this, this buffer here permanently. Did I actually, let me check something, I need to turn off magnet mode, because I had that on when I was testing earlier, um, I do want to put some stuff away here. So I can pick up this guy. And I want to put the retriever like so, but the opposite way, which means I need a piece of iron. It means I need to run to my chest. At least it's the closest one. <laughs> Let's rotate you and chuck my buffer back. Is it that way? Yeah, that way, isn't it? Colin there. Oh, I'll find out in a minute when I. Three, two, one. No, nope, wrong way. Ah, oh, it doesn't actually have a hole in the back, that's why. Yep. It's all gone. So now, if we hook into our retriever. Let's see what we can do with it. Um, so I want to tell it to pull out peat, which just all burned up. Still going to do more with the water glass too, as well. Let's get a piece of peat. I want it to pull a piece of peat. Oh, it needs electricity, doesn't it? Um, and I'm pretty sure it also needs a red sample, so I'll probably use another computer for that. Oh, it'll be on a slow timer, so I guess the timer should be fine. Um, let's actually place that right now. Oop, nope, no, 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 no. We could put that there. I just need to give him some blue tricity. We've still got a lot of power in our jetpack, and we haven't actually done any blue tricity, so it's a good time to start, isn't it? Um, so let's go. Let's look at. No, let's look at solar panels. 
because it's the easiest way to do it. He won't require much power, I don't think. So we need blue alloy ingot and blue doped wafers. Blue doped wafers just need a bit of nickelite. I've already got some doped wafers in my chest out here. So we need eight... Yeah, I've got enough silicon wafers in there for the job. And I need some nickelite plus iron will make me my blue alloy ingot. And I just used another one of those in the retriever. Let me show you the retriever recipe. So it did require two enderpearls, which meant I had to do some hunting if I didn't want to take that last enderpearl. So we've got two. Um, yes, yeah, so let us actually get our piece of iron one. Ah, oh, more than one piece of iron. Did not know that. Let's get a bunch just to be safe. Okay. Silver. I'm quite dumb. Let's us uh, get some silver. What is going on? That was very weird. Let's yeah, let's get out one blue alloy ingot, finally. And we'll chuck the rest of these in here. So these solar panels create um red powers type of energy, which is a little bit different to everyone else's again, like there's EU and there's MJ and there's also um yeah, solar panels. Also need a bunch more blue alloy ingots plus wool to make myself blue alloy wire. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that there. I mean, to do a bunch more of you, and there should be enough nickelite to last the job. So, how many have you done? Three? Six? No, only three more. Oh, I'm gonna. Need more nickelite. Now we have everything we need, we can finish this off. Whoop. <laughs> Wrong button. So, we've now got our solar panel, and we just need our alloy ingots here, and our wool. There we go. So now we need to hook this up. Um, I'm going to put it right. I'm going to put it not on a block, no. Let's put that there. Does that not connect? Are you kidding me? What other type of connection can you get? Heh. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm not going to have enough of this, am I? Dang it. Is that connecting? Please tell me that's connecting. No, 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 no. I haven't got long fall beats on, I will die from falling. <laughs> Right in the hole, why don't you? Doesn't look like he has anything inside of him. No, I need one right there. Yes, power! Haha! <laughs> Perfect. Um, so let's get our wool back. Where did that wool go? Radio. Let's set our timer. Apparently I cannot... Oh, my game's glitching out. Um, but I do want to set it to 15. And I won't be able to cover that up where it is. Look there. Do that. Bam. Put in 15. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure he'll be good to start. Actually, we might need to get some power in here. But once he starts filling up, I don't think he'll use that much power, um, which is good. 
And if he does it, I can always just make a few more solar panels. Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that really doesn't matter. Um, so let us maybe grab a cover here. And of course, I've got no orange ones. I hate it when I have to make eight eight covers just to cover up one block. Put them away, and we do need to hook up. I'm going to move this line so that it comes in in a similar fashion to this one, although I don't want that there. Wow, 17 when I look down. 30 when I look... Maybe I didn't... Oh, I don't know what these frame rate issues are coming from because I searched and searched and I couldn't find anything causing it. Like, when I was testing it earlier, I wasn't getting a low frame rate anywhere besides when I looked at that timer. There is still a couple of timers in the world that I could eradicate that's going very fast. But I am not sure. If any of you guys know anything about it, then please, please, please let me know. Because I don't know at this stage. Um, let us not do that. Like so. And I'll be connecting it over here in the same fashion. Although, I'm going to have to work out a way to hide these pneumatic tubes. Because if I want the effect, the effect that I want, then going underneath the walkways isn't going to be the way to do it. Is it now? Let's make our way this way and connect up the same way we just did. Wow! I thought maybe if I hold down right click then it'll do it automatically. Nope. Jerk tester. Let's hop back up. Try and get this actually to work. Dang it, red power! What's wrong with your... your... tubes, especially when sneaking, and microblocks and stuff. They aren't very reliable. That will do. So now all these are connected. And I want to see if this will work. I do that. Will this extract the peat from the bottom like it should? Um, actually, huh? I'm not sure because. Hmm. I don't know how barrels and red power works together. Has our retriever got? sufficient power yet? Do I have him facing the wrong way? Maybe I do. No, I don't think so. You should, as far as I know how retrievers work, be retrieving that peat. Because if I put peat in a chest... I was hoping that would work with the barrels, because then I could quite easily do that, but maybe it won't. We'll see. Oh, I need to make sure my steam boiler actually has enough fuel. Dang it, dang it. Oh, good, it does. Oh, it's right there. Ah. All is well. Um. If I grab a chest, which of course I don't actually have a chest on me. I mean, made, pre made. Actually, yes, I do! Haha! <laughs> Thank you, Thorncraft, and your research. Oh, and I did manage to research the telegolms, but I'm doing some re renovating here. Um, with having the... Oh! Having the cauldron down here and the table over here, it does work, so I can chuck stuff into the hole. The only problem is I can't really see what's in it very well. But we'll, I'll work on that. But... cha -ching! Check out what we got! The Axe of the Stream! And I didn't actually need to make another Wonder Frost, but oh well. Um, so, Axe of the Stream. Bam. 
And now the flux is high. <laughs> but we have a cool axe, so let us show you what it does. Let's cut down a big tree here. La -dee -da. Wait, it's not cutting. Oh no, it's not cutting. No, what's going on? What? What just? What's going on? What it will do is it will search for search further out the tree for logs. So you can just stand here at the bottom and cut away, and it will cut it down from the top down, and it will suck all the wood logs that you cut down to you. But if you hold right click, I believe it goes much, 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 much faster. But uses up a lot more f uh, beasts and durability, I presume. How good cool is that? How's it doing these, I wonder? Come on, give me a... Yeah, nothing special. Yeah, how cool is that method of cutting down tall trees? And if I get some cool enchant... Yeah, Thumbcraft also added a little bunch of cool enchants in the nearest update. Um... Look under here, I've got a little platform. This is where my golems will be. I did manage to finally research the tallow golems. They were very silly and weren't similar to the other golems. Research, so that's why I wasn't able to easily find it. Um, yeah, but there's the other timer that I can replace when I get the chance. And where did that skeleton come from? Mister? Probably up here. Yep, on that edge. That may have been where that creeper came from last episode. Who knows? Are all the other ones lit up? Yep. Yep. Cool. Just had to make sure that that was lit up again. Because if that was a creeper and I was just sitting here doing nothing, then BAM! Reorganizing all my chests. How are you doing? Almost full. Nice. Um, oh yeah, we're testing... So off track. Testing the retriever. And so I was grabbing a yeah hey I remember now I was grabbing a chest for my Thorncroft research area because I use them they have Vaker Vacus in it which is the swirly symbol looking there um, so if I put ah these nomadic tubes aren't connected Gleason well, I do have hope then maybe this will work. That will connect, okay. Um, so if I bring you out, out, down, down, down. Well, that pulled Pete out. Fingers crossed. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh! That made my life. About a million times easier, I'd say. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm so happy that that worked. And it doesn't look like it uses that much power, either. Oh, because what that means is in the future, I can use retrievers more often, and managers and stuff like that. And if I get rid of these wood things, it means it'll be able to pull out of the bottom of the wheat here, and everything will be dandy. Oh, man, I'm so glad about that. And I can just hook pneumatic pipes to the bottom of these ones as well, which is quite easy. But it means I can access these top ones with managers and retrievers and stuff like that. Oh, I'm happy. Uh, let us end the episode on that high note. Hopefully our steam boiler will be running consistently now, because we've got a peak coming at the right intervals. Especially once it heats up properly, and I'm hoping I'm actually getting enough peat. I only need one every 15 seconds, but am I getting it? I don't know. How's our system going up here, actually? Yep, all good. Um, but yeah, all this is going to be revamped. Maybe in the next episode, it'll probably take a few episodes, because I only just made this too, dang it. <laughs> um, but I'm basically... That was a good landing. Ooh, nice, fellas. Good work going to be tearing this down. Don't worry, I did remake it in a in a test world, because I was going to do a tutorial on it, but then I found out about the multi-blocks, and then I decided not to, but yes, I'm going to be tearing this down. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> and hopefully we should be good to create our multi-block farm. 
multi farm, which is hopefully it'll have a high yield. I do not know, but they are pretty cool blocks, and I like the way that Sengir has done it. So anyway, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy it, it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.